this. Today is a not so good day. And it's a good moment right about now. Really sad. You guys know I'm Polly, right? You know, sometimes me being Polly gets in the way of my marriage. And that's just truthfully what it is. Sometimes it just does. Because I don't want to be Polly. Preferably don't want to date separately, but I would date separately if it came down to it. <laughs> I really want that. I've been wanting that for a long time. But it gets in the way of my marriage a lot. <clears throat> because a lot of times he doesn't see the point in He's more likely on the train and not doing it. Which just kind of sucks because... I really want this, but I already know it's just a result of unresolved childhood trauma. The reason why I want this dynamic really bad is because my heart is still wounded very wounded. There are some things I have not been able to heal from. I know I haven't healed from them. You know, I have an online friend that's kind of helped me flesh that out a little bit more. You know, I already knew that my heart is wounded and <sighs> I'm polyamorous because I just want to feel loved. I want to feel loved by a woman, which is why I want a woman lover along with my husband. But I'm trying to talk quietly so the kids don't hear me. It's one of them in the bathroom. So I apologize if I'm not loud enough. But um, this is a very bad emotional journey. Very sad, very heartbreaking. Sometimes I wish she didn't exist. Me being bisexual, me being poly, sometimes I wish she didn't exist. It just added more things on top of our marriage that didn't need to be added. It just added more issues, more things to think about, more things to consider, you know? And sometimes I really have to sit back and wonder, do I really want to be Polly? Do I really want to sacrifice my marriage because that's all that's going to happen? If I go down the route of wanting to be Polly, wanting to experiment with people and try out, you know, swinging and trying out whatever different random things to hopefully find someone to love me, he doesn't want to go down that path. say I have to make a decision. It's been there. It's been there a long time. And as I get older now, I have to really, really consider more, as I always have been. I don't want to divorce because, you know, we have five kids. I still love my husband. I don't want to divorce him. I don't want to put my kids in a precarious situation. However, this wound that I have in my heart from not having a woman around to care, love, and care about me. It's deep. It's a very deep wound. And I'm just really sitting around trying to figure out how to make a choice because I have to make a choice at some point so this will stop eating me alive. That's all it's been doing, y'all. In all honesty, 
It's probably the thing you've just been eating your life. It's just a bunch of turmoil. Being bisexual. Just a bunch of turmoil. For the most part. You know? It's a journey, but it's mostly just turmoil because you can't have your cake and eat it too. Unfortunately, that's just what it is. So right now, I'm just wondering, do I want to really stay with my marriage and just forget about this whole poly thing? Just fuck it, just forget about it completely? Or do I want to go out there and take the chance and become an ethical slut? The ethical slip. I was thinking about buying it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it. Based on my decision making, I need to decide if I'm going to buy it or not. Because if, if I work up the courage to put the poly journey down, then there's no reason for me to buy that book. There's no reason for me to be an ethical slut. There's no reason for me to strive for that. I have those moments all the time, like every day where I want to do this and I want to do that. I want to be more, you know, outgoing with people and I sometimes want to do certain sexual things that I can't do because I'm married. But I know deep down those things are not important. They don't matter and they're not going to help me or my family move along. It's just depressing. It's fucking depressing, y'all. This whole journey is just making that choice and setting in it is hard. It literally aches my heart. Like, no joke, my heart is literally aching in a literal sense. I have heart pain a lot because I'm still wounded. There's some things I have not been able to heal from because, you know, got out for therapy. able to let go of certain things just yet. I don't have any nearby friends around me, like nearby friends. People around me that can, you know, just give me genuine love. So perhaps I won't be craving Polly. Perhaps I won't be looking for this because I know it's a detriment to our marriage. If we do this, I know it's a detriment. I know whoever we bring in might not be, you know, a good choice. And it's gonna take some years for us to even love and trust that person. And yeah, all in all, my husband, he's not, he's really not poly. I've never been known that. I've just been trying to subconsciously force, not force, but push, I guess, in that direction. But it's coming to a head and he's not with it. He's just completely not with it. So I'm still at that crossroad forever. I've been at this cross the same damn crossroad for how many years? Do I want to divorce him? Or do I give up my marriage and become the ethical slut that I sometimes want to be? I go out there and try to gain sexual experiences or just experiences in general do I do that? Second hour.